Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Uh, friends, I had a pleasant surprise when I checked my crypto wallet. I knew that I had some bitcoins with me from before, and also some coins like Solana, uh, so uh, and Polkadot. Uh, I just checked my um, wallet and I found that I had almost tripled my uh, holdings and um, uh, it made me thinking let's go and have a look at the bitcoin chart and see what's happening out there uh, and i was amazed to see a very bullish signal and i'm going to make a very bold bullish prediction today uh, so first i'm going to talk about all the main things that are pushing the value of bitcoin upwards and then in the second part i'm going to do a technical analysis and show you exactly what is likely to be the target price for bitcoin based on the cup and handle pattern that i have found let's get started Welcome back friends, Bitcoin has uh, once again shattered records, breaching 98,000 mark for the first time, fueled by growing optimism and a second Donald Trump presidency. And the cryptocurrency's performance in 2024 has been nothing short of spectacular, with gains exceeding 130% year to date. Investors are increasingly betting on a golden era for crypto, one characterized by a friendlier regulation and a bold vision for Bitcoin's role in the global financial system. Trump's pro-crypto stance ignites optimism. The market's enthusiasm is grounded in the expectation that the incoming Trump administration will radically reshape the US crypto landscape. Trump, who once expressed skepticism towards digital assets, has become a staunch advocate after a wave of industry lobbying. His campaign promises a supportive regulatory framework and even the creation of a strategic Bitcoin reserves all of this information has captivated both retail as well as institutional investors. And over a period of time, a seismic shift in regulatory leadership also adds fuel to Bitcoin's uh, rally. Securities and Exchange Commissioner Chair uh, Gary Gensler, whose tenure was marked with rigorous enforcement against crypto, is set to step down in January. Industry leaders anticipate a less hostile regulatory climate, creating a fertile ground for innovation and adoption. Moreover, Trump's transition team has already begun exploring the establishment of a dedicated White House position for digital asset policy, signaling unprecedented alignment between the federal government and the crypto sector. Institutional participation has become a cornerstone of Bitcoin's latest bull run, marking a departure from its earlier retail-dominated surge. The debut of options on Bitcoin's exchange-traded funds, that is ETFs, including BlackRock's offering, has amplified the market sentiment. A staggering $5.9 billion in net inflows has poured into US-listed Bitcoin ETFs since Election Day, driving their total assets to an all-time high of $100 billion. That's a huge milestone. Major players like Charles Schwab are also signaling their intent to enter the crypto market pending regulatory clarity. Meanwhile, MicroStrategy Inc., which has long been a Bitcoin evangelist, has announced plans to accelerate its accumulation of the asset. These developments underscore the increasing confidence of institutions in Bitcoin as a long-term store of value. Resilience and maturation of the market has also been witnessed. The crypto market's resilience is evident as it emerges stronger from the turbulence of 2021 and 2022, which saw major collapses like FTX and exposed bad actors in the space. The industry has since deleveraged de significantly and it has paved the way for a more sustainable growth trajectory in my opinion. Institutional investment has also had a stabilizing effect on Bitcoin's price dynamics. Unlike the dramatic swings of previous retail-driven rallies, the current bull run appears more measured with institutions acting as a ballast against extreme volatility. A new era for Bitcoin has come in while challenges still remain, including energy usage concerns and lingering crypto crime. The trajectory for Bitcoin appears firmly upward. Of course, nothing goes up straight. There will be a little bit of dips here and there, but the overall trajectory is upward. The cryptocurrency is no longer viewed as a fringe asset, but as a legitimate part of the global financial system, bolstered by increasing institutional participation and adoption and potential government backing. As Wall Street giants, government policymakers 
and retail investors align their interests, Bitcoin's ascent seems poised to continue. With a supportive Trump administration on the horizon, the vision of a crypto-integrated economy is closer to reality than ever before. Bitcoin's breach of 98,000 may just be the beginning of an unprecedented era for digital assets, with the possibility of a six-figure Bitcoin becoming not a dream, but a benchmark. Now, I'm going to show you a few things. One of them is going to be uh, the technical analysis for Bitcoin. And before we close out the video, uh, I would also show you what I am doing on the TradingView platform. There's a competition going on out there. Uh, and uh, I have participated in it just a few days back. Uh, and I'm somewhere on the 250th in the rank out there. So I'm going to show you what I have in my portfolio out there. So it is going to be an interesting video. So please watch until the end, even after the technical analysis. Well, friends, here we are in the TradingView platform looking at uh, the chart for Bitcoin. Each of these candles is a one day candle. I've tried my best to zoom out because the chart is so wild. It's absolutely wild. It's like a roller coaster. You can see that somewhere around 12th of April 2020, we were way low in the $12,000 range. And since then, we had been up all the way to 64,000 and then dropped down all the way to 29,519, only to go up back again all the way to 70,000 and then came down to somewhere around 15,000. And then we have formed this huge cup over a period starting from 1st of November 2021 and all the way uh, to 23rd of February 2024. Around that time, somewhere out here, I made uh, somewhere out around May, I made a video talking about a cup and handle target for Bitcoin of around 116000 or $117,000, somewhere in that range. And at that time, I was feeling very crazy talking about this um, uh, target, but still I said, I'll stick my neck out. I'm going to make a prediction and I'm doubling down on that right now. As you can see, the trajectory out here, the way the Bitcoin has moved up, it's been significant. We have seen a huge jump right from 31st of October 2024 all the way to now where we are seeing a gain of around 36.76% uh, between October to November. In one month, we have seen such a huge jump. And I think there is more in store. But if I look at the MACD and the uh, momentum, I can see that we have this red line out here, which is at around 88.42%. 80, so I'm not too much worried. We might go all the way up to there, consolidate, come down a little bit, and then go up again. We have done that many times in the past. We have hovered around there and then come down. Uh, the one that I'm more worried about is this red line that we have breached, uh, which is in the MACD. And we have never been this high on the MACD, but we are right now super bullish, but we can see some changes in the horizon. But right now, I think the euphor euphoria is very high. And in the past also, Bitcoin has always ignored these kind of uh, uh, technical signals because new investors start piling in, driving up the prices much higher. But right now, it's looking really good. And it seems to me that we are likely to achieve our target of $117,000 or $118,000, something in that range in the next period of time. That period of time could be anywhere from one month to four months or six months. It all depends on the market enthusiasm and all the other events that happen in the market. But it looks good. And at some point of time, in one of my videos, I mentioned that we have a bull flag out here forming up on this segment, assuming this to be a, a bullish uh, channel then this is a bull flag which always breaks upwards. So that also came true. So technicals most of the time come true and I'm thinking this is going to be good for us. Next, I would like to show you my uh, competition, the competition in which I'm participating in the TradingView platform. So I've got a bunch of holdings out here. I have made some trades. I have a realized profit of around 10,255. I've been in the game for the last three days and this is the leaderboard. And I am ranked 251 uh, in uh, in this competition, and in the I'm in the top one percent of the participants. I think there are around uh, 59,127 participants in this uh, uh, competition. Let us see where it goes. Uh, I have a small portfolio out here. They have limited our budget, 
and I'm betting on gold I, that that part is not going very well. Uh, I've already made money on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, I took profit and I've got back into the market again. I'm making some profits in Bitcoin, but I have I've been negative on the Ethereum. So I'm going to wait for another few days to see where this goes. Well, friends, so that was my uh, two bits on uh, Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is going to be uh, very helpful for the short term, at least until the new administration takes over and uh, their policies and practices uh, come to be seen. Uh, because of the record with the infrastructure week where a lot of infrastructure weeks were declared, but no infrastructure was made. So I'm thinking that we'll have to wait and see what the administration actually does for crypto before going gaga over Bitcoin. But when the rest of the world is pushing Bitcoin up, why not stay in there and take some profits? So I'm staying invested in Bitcoin. I'm going to take some profits just before the swearing in and uh, I'll wait for what happens afterwards because the actions speak louder uh, than all the words that you have and we'll see uh, how it goes. Well, friends, that was my uh, uh, story for Bitcoin and I'm really very happy. It was like opening a Christmas present or something like that. So I'm absolutely happy with my uh, crypto positions and I am looking forward to hear your stories. Go and log into your crypto account, check your wallet and see what's the value of your crypto. Have you made huge profits like I have done? Are you planning to book those profit? What is your game plan? Please put that in the comment section and let me know what you think. That's all for now, my friends. I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.